Hi, uh, this is a little tutorial on how to set up a multi instrument guru and get it playing on different engines within Logic 8. Okay, so first things first, we need to set up a new channel or a new track, even. Okay, so track um, new and we'll just set it up for instance, we'll do it easily. Uh, you can do it a multi-timbral way or the way I like to do it, I just like to set up a multi-timbral on its own. So one software instrument and on any output you like, whatever your sound card allows. At the moment I'm using my inbuilt sound card, so that's just one and two. Okay, you see it's brought up a little track there and what we're going to do, double click and we're going to call it Guru. So we keep everything nice and neat and labelled as we should do, really. Okay, and then we're going to go to windows and our environments there which is a shortcut apple 8 and i already have one up so there click on that okay and in my channel strip we've got guru there instrument 2 which is what i set up um, so we're going to set up instrument f expansion guru and i always like to set up a multi output so i've got it there as as and when i need it okay so Got engine one, engine two to engine eight in Guru. So engine one, for instance, I'm gonna put we'll put an 808 kit in engine there we go. Engine one, as you can see it's coming up. Okay, and we'll just click in a quick and easy pattern. That'll do. A funk drummer, that'll do. Okay, so we'll play that. Cool. Okay, so that's one going there. Okay, on engine two, I'm going to set up a 909 kit because I like my 909 kits. And if you can hear it, we've got it there. And I'm just going to put in a simple four to the floor pattern so, so we know what's a little bit different, like so. And you can hear both patterns playing at the same time. Alright, okay. So what we need to do now is we need to set up a multi-channel instrument, or multi-timbral instrument, sorry. Okay, for instance, like in the olden days, you say it's olden days, when you had uh, outboarder gear, you'd do this if you had like a um, outboard Roland um, sound module. So you create a multi-instrument, multi which brings up this. Let's just drag and drop it down. Okay, and we're going to, because it's eight-way multi-timbral guru. So we're going to open up with the channels 1 to 8, whereas if it was 16, which it is actually 16, well, it's timbral, but um, I think from 10 onwards it does other stuff. Read the manual for that. Um, okay, so we're going to double click on 1, we're going to name this as well, Guru, or Guru 01, depending on how many Gurus you're going to have running. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to cable this, by clicking on the little arrow there, grab your cable and you can cable it into anything you want and we're going to cable it into channel instrument 2, ok we want to remove these settings so that it works ok, so now we've set up a multi instrument guru so we'll go back to our arrange page into there and here's guru, as you can see in our inspector here, if your inspector is not open, just click on that close it, open alright and little arrow, drop down arrows which gives you all your information you need ok so Guru, as you see we've got MIDI channel all we can change that to MIDI channel 1 to 16 any we want but it's only going to work to MIDI channel 8 because that's all we've opened it up to ok so in fact what we want to do is we want to set up 8 individual MIDI channels so track and then new with next MIDI channel and the shortcut for that is alt or option apple and m okay and that's going to set up a new one and if we look there well the first one had midi channel all the next one's got midi channel one so alt apple m midi channel two midi channel three midi channel four midi channel five channel six channel seven channel eight like so okay so let's bring open back our guru again like for that for instance and we just need to check in options miscellaneous that we have Six enable pad edit drag drop move swap copy so we can move it around whichever we want okay so I've chosen engine one again and I'm going to choose pattern one we're going to drag that up 
to there. Okay, let's just close that down. And what we have, copy and paste. And I'm just going to choose a blank um, padding guru. So this plays. If I had the same pattern going, you're going to start getting phasing problems. And because the two patterns are playing at the same time, so we only actually want the MIDI channel or the MIDI track playing. And this tr is here triggering guru. Okay. So as you can hear, we've got this going. MIDI channel one. As you can hear as well. We also have MIDI channel 2, um, engine 2 playing because that's what the pad has chosen to automatically play. So let's stop this. Okay. And we're going to pick this up and we're going to drop it to MIDI channel 2 there. Choose a blank so that's not triggering. So Guru's not, um, the pattern sequencer in Guru isn't triggering, but the actual MIDI channel in Logic is triggering. Okay. So pick, paste them. As you can see, we mute one out by highlighting and pressing M, mute. We've got the 909, or you can press escape, bring up a little toolbox, choose mute, mute tool, bring that back in, highlight, like that for instance. Okay, so if we wanted to, let's unmute them, let's take the 909 kit down, so that's actually not playing now because there's nothing on MIDI channel 4. But we can take the patterns from MIDI channel 1 and drop them into the 909 kit. As you hear, the pattern from engine 1 is now playing on the 909. So let's mute that. And then the pattern from engine 2 is actually going to play on MIDI channel 1. There we go, like that for instance. Okay, so that's how you do it. And you can run all eight engines and have lots of different things playing, different patterns. If we wanted to, let's mute that and that, and unmute that and that. Oh, no, not that way, sorry, but that way and that way. For instance. So you can create really complex polyrhythmic music, anything you want, basically. Okay, so there you go. I um, hope that was okay for you. Have fun, um, and if you want any more, just kind of contact me, I suppose, on my uh, YouTube channel. Alright, thanks. Peace out, guys. Have fun.